Hey everyone, and welcome to another daily video from Shopify Dropshipping Lifestyle. My name is the one and only Ricky Hayes. God, that was corny. In today's video is, I've forgotten the name of the title, but it's coming back to me. It's basically something shit. I should edit this out, but I'm not going to. How to make more money online. Okay, that's the title. I'm going with it. Let's get straight into it. Alright, so I fucked that up majorly. I lost complete concentration because I got too much going on in this small mind. But anyway, so as, as I said, the title is how to make more money. And uh, basically, this is again another information video. But I, w I went for a walk and uh, beautiful day, by the way. It's a bit windy, but anyway, and I took my dog, Susie, she's down there, you can't see her, for a run. Um, and um, basically, I I got into this inspirational mode. Now I came back and I did some work. And do you know at times when you just, you get that breath of inspiration and uh, everything just makes sense. Like just bam, bam, bam. There's no uncertainty. It's just complete certainty. Everything's just, yep, I'm doing this, 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 this. And it just sort of all gels. And uh, so that, that led, me, led me to today's video basically, which is how to make more money. And one of the things is, Everyone wants to talk about Facebook ads. Now, the reality is with Facebook ads, like any social media or any platform, you're just driving traffic um, to to your website to try and make sales, okay? I do that every day. The reality is, in this day and age, um, Facebook is a bitch. Um, you know, two, three years ago, it was piss easy. But now ads die uh, after a couple of days, all of this. But how you can make more money is organic, all right? And how, how I look at that is, you know, there's a number of ways Facebook... Facebook page, Instagram page, Pinterest, uh, Twitter, all of these, depends what, what avenue you want to take. One thing people seem to overlook that's a very important, very basic, but very awesome feature is integration, okay? Now, I talk about this a lot in my gold class group. Um, I talk about this a lot. Now, look, I might sound like a boring person. I don't bring up my, my revenue all that much. You know, I'm not the next millionaire in five minutes, and I don't care. But... I like to talk about this because one, it's really, it is my passion. Like I, uh, my ads, I still do a lot of work in Facebook, um, you know, optimizing, looking for methods, new creatives, all of this, but you eventually start to find that as you start getting sales, you're just going to leave things and you're going to, you want to divert your attention elsewhere uh, because spending all your time on Facebook ads is actually counterproductive because again, it's, it's really just a method of, um, uh, you know, driving traffic, getting sales, and then optimizing those sales. That's the theory, but the reality is that's very different. Your pixel is not going to pick up a lot of the data. Uh, it's going to get random results some days, this and that. And that's where automation and integration is your best friend. The re and this is what is very powerful with e-commerce and lead gen, of course, but um, in really any, any web-related business is that um, I remember when I used to work, I used to work for government, and uh, I always said back then, I've got to say, I always said back then, um, and it really pissed me off because apparently I have like, I'm a high functioning individual with autism, believe it or not, I am a bit fucking weird. But anyway, um, that it pissed me off because the key I said four or five years ago, I remember myself telling myself this every day and people around me and they were like, you don't shut up about this. The key to the future is web-based applications that integrate and that you can automate, okay? And um, that, that's, what, that's why you see a lot of my videos about this because that has now just been confirmed for me a million times over. Every time I do some bit of integration, spend that extra time and integrate it, understand it, fail, fix it, whatever, that money just becomes comes back to me, okay? So I, w w what does this mean? W what examples do you have, Ricky? Well, okay, so... Um, for instance, Ali Reviews is a fantastic review app. However, I am moving towards looks. Um, and as with my branded stores, even moving towards Yoppo, just because Yoppo is bigger. But, uh, and the reason for that is simply because of integration. Um, because what happens is the bigger a company becomes, the, the more they update their platform, the more they update their various forms of software, and it becomes more open source. Think of the reason why Zapier is so hugely popular, okay? What all Zapier does is it integrates what isn't integratable previously. 
it, it allows what wasn't able to be integrated in many regards to be integrated quickly and easily, okay? And that's why Zapier is so, so popular. It, it, is a le it has changed the dynamic of that you'd have to wait for the software developer vendors to, to make integration, where now you can do it at their level. So it's somehow a company that's in, uh, the middleman between middlemen, okay? And uh, so if you haven't heard of Zapier, Zapier is an application that let's say you want to connect um, uh, Google Sheets, uh, let's say hypothetically, and you're running lead gen, uh, Google Sheets to your email. So let's say you send them to your landing page, they give you their um, mobile number um, or email, that email gets put into Google Sheets, then get Zapier will then pick up that, synchronize it, push it into whatever your email service provider is, let's say Active Campaign. And then it's going to add them to an autoresponder list or here's your booking, okay? Now, whereas, you know, a lot, to be honest, that's probably a bad example because you can do it natively. But, you know, let's say uh, I know a lot of people with phone numbers, uh, especially for lead gen, this is a great example actually, where they get their phone number and um, then send it to Zapier and then they have like a third party SMS software. Um, so think of like SMS bump, but purely dedicated like as a whole web-based platform instead of an app for Shopify that you can do ridiculous email mark, uh, sorry, uh, text message marketing on, and then it'll send them a text, okay? Here's your booking, blah, blah, call us up now, and blah, 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 okay? And and it's the same with e-commerce. So like uh, with Yotpo uh, and Lux, you know, Lux just, uh, I was so happy, Lux have just released, um, if you have a page that has over 5,000 likes, you can have custom tabs. And so I have hundreds of reviews. And uh, so now my Lux, I connected to my Facebook page, and now my looks reviews that people come to my website, give me a review on my website, then goes back to my Facebook page so then they can look at the reviews there as well. And they can even click it and go straight to the product page. How cool is that? Now that has in itself gotten me free sales. It cost me nothing. It took me five minutes to set up. Okay, another example is, um, and you can do this again, is like why I use Aftership. Aftership has a lot of integration and in the next few years, I guarantee you they're only gonna get more and more and more. Um, I integrated uh, Aftership with Looks, okay? So instead of, let's say, with your autoresponder email and Klaviyo or some email service provider, that the standard email, uh, email is 14 days, okay? And even Looks, uh, sorry, um, Yotpo has 14 days. However, um, if you integrate it with Aftership, you can change it so that rather than 14 days, it's not a specific stat because you don't actually know if it's gonna be 14, oh shit. You don't actually know if it's gonna be 14 days. <clears throat> Depending on where you're shipping to, however you're shipping, it could be three days. So why would I send it 11 days later? Because they've forgotten about it. They've gone from warm, hot, to, oh yeah, it's, it's gone, you know, I don't care. You're gonna get people, but you're gonna get a lot more, okay? And that's the thing, is this costs nothing. This costs you nothing. And this is how you make more money. So what I did was I integrated Looks with Aftership, which is just a webhook. Um, I've got instructions, super easy. And you verify it. So then you just change it so as soon as it's delivered. So all of a sudden it goes from being a static number to a variable, okay? And when it's, whenever something's a variable and it's, it's dynamic rather than static, you get a lot more specific control and it's a lot more personal for the end user or customer. Sorry, I'm, I'm still used to my IT mind at times for the customer. And uh, so for instance, then it goes from 14 days, if they got it on third day, they get it and they get an email, okay? And then you can send a reminder, another one. Okay, can you give us another review? Give them a, a discount. They come back with a personalized list of emails that is personalized based off their buying experience. Uh, just after they purchase, they're really happy, they get a discount. What do you think is gonna happen, okay? Think of what Amazon and eBay do, okay? That, they spend millions and millions of dollars, especially Amazon, of course, to make it so that they have complete control over an absolutely personal experience, okay? The more personal, the happier someone is, okay? And so that's why um, I spend so much time with integration, that's why I get so specific about FOMO, with all the integration between Facebook, Instagram, again, Yotpo, all these other third-party tools, that all of a sudden, they just integrate. You've got, you're paying, fuck all money for this app that'll run 24-7, 365 days a year. It's never gonna complain, never gonna whinge, never gonna ask for a pay rise. It's always going to do what you tell it to do and it's always gonna be your friend, okay? Whereas, you know, people out there, they can be pricks and they can not be your friend five minutes later. 
And so all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the game has changed from you depending on outsourcing to people to doing it manually to having to remember all of this. Because life gets in the way, doesn't it? Life gets in the way. We're parents. We'd like to socialize, exercise, travel, whatever the fuck. So why, why do people not spend enough time uh, to look at integrating things? I look at, I look at integration every day through my apps. And that's how I found out with looks that they only just recently, two days ago, released that feature of the Facebook thing. And it's already got missiles. And that is awesome. Okay. And I would have not known that if I didn't look. Because I know that it takes me five minutes to set up and then I'm set up for life. Uh, and that's how I make more money. Because... The reality is, like, I did, someone, Mark, in uh, my group, he posted an amazing post, and congratulations, by the way, uh, just hitting 7K days. Like, he's absolutely blown away, stressed out beyond belief by the sounds of it with all the work, but that's the way the ball rolls. And I was talking to him, and I said, you know, the, the, your key now is you, you've got a store. You know you've got a store. You know it got, has worked well. Now you need to spend the time to automate it, okay? That's how I'm able to save so much time. That's how I'm able to, you know, do other things. Because as much as we all love e-commerce and I'm on my computer all day um, and I'm working on various things, you know, as a number of you know, I do not just e-commerce, I do my consulting, all of this as well. That This is how I'm able to do it while retaining a steady income. And in fact, actually growing the income, I should say. But, and, and that comes through automation, through integration, okay? So that's why I look at that I pay a premium for apps. Like, you know, I don't have to get aftership. A lot of people um, don't even get tracking because, you know, it costs 10 cents. They want to save that 10 cents. Why? It's 10 cents. You know, surely your profit margin should be enough that 10 cents. Because what you end up going to do is you're going to not pay that 10 cents and you're going to be end up spending hours in customer service emails. Now, I'd rather pay 10 cents than have to do customer service emails because again, the more the more someone's informed, the less you're going to get crap, and the more they're going to come back and buy. All right, you know, return customers is very important. Everyone's looking for new customers. All right, the, the reality is is that Facebook's not becoming cheaper. No platform is becoming cheaper. Google is meant to be untapped, but again, it's going to become expensive over time. It's still great though, but people seem to forget that it's not a. It's far harder to find a new customer than it is to continue to have repeat customers. All right, because a repeat customer costs nothing in most cases. You can send out a fucking email and you'll get customers. All right, that's very important. Nurture your customers. It's the same thing with everything in life. Think of yourself, and that's that's why I use automation and integration. I don't have perfect systems. I'm still always improving them. And you know, email marketing is a big focus for me. Google is another big focus for me. Uh, improving my following on Instagram is a big following. Facebook's a big phone because I'm looking at all these methods outside of the norm of just paying constantly to get new customers, how I can make those customers make me more money. So that's why I use all this automation and integration. So I get reviews on Instagram so that people then see that, they share it or whatever, uh, follow me and um, and they come to me and they buy and you know their friends come to me and buy and so on and so forth. And that game of constantly trying to find the next big customer is going to be harder. It's, it's going to get harder. That's the reality. And that's why it's also so important to use automation for upsells, cross-sells, uh, post-purchase upsells, all of that. And that comes through apps and integration and automation. Because without it, people in another two, three years that are not doing that are going to fail. I absolutely, they're failing now. But in two, three years, you're gonna, it's just gonna, you're gonna fail. Now, people are scared to spend money on these apps. And up front, I can understand that, uh, especially at, at the early stages, all right? And that's why I've always suggested having $1,000. People say that might be excessive. It's really not because by the time you pay for apps, by the time, domain, email, um, obviously ads, and uh, everything else, chargebacks and all of this, $1,000 actually to start a business is, you ask most brick and mortar businesses and they'll say that's nothing. Most of them have to go get a $100,000 loan, okay? And uh, so we're starting with nothing and we're building it, okay? And, and that's, you should feel, rather than scared, you should feel very privileged. To be able to start a business on such a small amount of money is insane, okay? Uh, you can start it on less, of course. I'm not saying that's not feasible. But I'm saying for the sake of your sanity, do that. And 
Make sure as soon as you start getting sales and traction, don't be like, I'm scaling this to fucking hell and I'm going to just make a million dollars. Now, what you need to do is you then need to go into the back end of your store and get apps, okay? I've given, uh, my screen went blank, I've given heaps of apps and videos, heaps of that, okay? Because like Mark, he pretty much said himself in the post that it's pretty much been the apps, the back end that's made him the money, okay? Retargeting makes you the money. Uh, SMS retargeting, re messenger remarketing, email remarketing, all of this form of marketing and stuff to get repeat customers, return customers, just customers to come back is where you make the money and it costs you far, far less, okay? So people, don't forget as well that when you are marketing on Facebook, there, this is why you should be using something like Wheelio. I always recommend Wheelio. I'll never recommend anything else because I love Wheelio too much. To capture leads, okay? People forget how important an email is. An email is something that you now have, that you now can market to for life. Yeah, you're going to get people that are unsubscribed, but as long as you're getting new traffic every day, even if you're getting, if you're uh, barely making $5, let's say, but you're getting 10 emails a day, over time, those 10 emails will become 100 emails, 1,000 emails. You can send out an email and uh, you know get five sales and what do you do for it? Nothing, okay? And that's the other thing that is important. People need to realize how important it is to build a brand store, to get traffic, return customers, and automate, all right? That, that's, that's the key. It, business really isn't that hard. Like, it, it, I always thought it was hard. And maybe that's me just being arrogant, but I'm trying to convey to you that uh, you can do this and don't get fixated on just revenue. I have seen so many people with ridiculous revenue, but little profit, if at all, okay? Uh, you know, it doesn't matter if you're only getting $50, if you're only getting $10, $10 times seven days a week, that's $70. That's most likely, I'm sure for a lot of you, your groceries paid or something like that. Um, that makes a big difference to your well-being because we live in a world that is centered around money. The reality is money speaks louder than words. No matter what anyone says that money doesn't really mean anything, the society that we've made in, the, in Mother Earth is that money speaks louder than anything, okay? And money convinces people in every regard. So money is power, all right? And uh, so, you know, the, the more you have, the more power you have. And, and that's why by using automation as well, like uh, Russell Brunson's always said in his books, and I love his books, I'm reading his uh, dot com secrets at the moment, is that the person who can spend the most to get a customer wins. Okay, and that's why I emphasize on automation, upsells, cross sales, because these help with the average order value. So I can spend more of my competition to get that customer, all right, and I fuck them out of the market because they're not doing it properly, okay. And, and I'm not going to tell them because why would I? It's going to make itself harder for me. But you people are in the driver's seat. Okay. And by using this knowledge, using these tools, you can blow your competition out of the water. Okay. You're going to get organic sales. You're going to get return customers. You're going to get large average order value. And so you can then confidently spend more to get a customer than your competition can. And remember, we're in this to beat our competition. I'm sure most of us are competitors with each other. We just don't know it, and that's fine. But it's important that we do understand that each of us, we should be doing everything we can so that we are essentially friends, but we are also in business enemies, all right? And um, by understanding that, you wanna understand what your competition's doing, and you wanna do it better. And that, that's really all there is to it. And doing it better is, is basically uh, what I've just said and all my other videos, okay? I I could make a million Facebook videos um, and yeah, okay, you need a good Facebook video that's converting to start really you doing what I'm saying here. But a lot of people are already at that stage and then they immediately become stuck because like I can't be, I can't get profit. And uh, people always ask me, well, why, why? Like, why are we looking at my store and not my ads? Because your store is where the money fucking lies. You know, and um, I'm, I, it, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I don't use ClickFunnels all that much aside from you know, my various services because um, I haven't had much of a problem with Shopify. It works well. It, it works well, and it's only going to get better. And because I spend most of my, I, so basically my morning 
is I do my Facebook ads, then I look at my store, optimize areas, you know, make mistakes, but clean them up and stuff. And that's where I then spend my day. Because one, obviously that's my passion. I love Facebook ads, but let's be honest, it's a bit of, bit, bit of a pain in the ass at times. Uh, but I love on the back end of the store, integrating, doing all that. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. And that was fucking weird. But you can see my point here, okay, is that do not discount the importance and the, the privilege, the privilege that we have. The technology has evolved from the point of being very static to now dynamic, okay? And if you're static as a person, then you're going to fail. You have to be dynamic, dynamic. Think of yourself as dynamic. Think in every regard about yourself as dynamic and build your business around that same principle. I guarantee you that that will be the difference between you making a lot, 10 times more money than you are now. Because once you get into your frame of mind that it's not just about finding new customers, that it's about automating your business so that you have little um, less outsourcing expenses, greater consistency, greater automation, better customer experience, then your store is going to morph into something that you never imagined. And it's going to become this automating money machine, okay? We want to make a money machine, not something, the machine that controls us. We control it, all right? So that's pretty much it. I know that I've been making informational videos and I haven't done much more than that and recently. And I am sorry if I haven't made purely instructional based videos. I mean, fuck it anyway. Everyone else is pretty much doing it anyway. So if you're not happy, unsubscribe. But um, I hope this has been helpful, okay? I didn't, I didn't wanna, I didn't really have to make today's video. I only really was making two days, but I was just so inspired. I, um, I wanted to make this video for you. And it, it is a core passion of mine. It really is. I love, I love it. And uh, so I hope that you take on a bit of this passion. I hope you take on a bit of my advice. I hope you do. Give me a like. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and drop a comment below if today's video was helpful, okay? I respond to your comments. I mean, I'm not a big YouTuber, so I don't get many, let's be honest. But um, if you, uh, aside from that, there's a cheat sheet down below, okay? Free cheat sheet, just sign up and you get a free cheat sheet. You just download it, it's yours. Awesome, huh? If you do like what you've seen and you want to take it a step further, then I also do have my Gold Class uh, Facebook group, which is a paid group, but you can join down below, okay? It has more information and all that. As you can see from a lot of my testimonials in the free group and, and just everywhere now, everyone is kicking goals, okay? And it's super, super cheap. And it is going up because I'm... Uh, the amount of value you get in there, it is just so tremendous. I know a number of people that are in these other uh, premium Facebook groups and they say that they barely even get responses. Whereas in this, I got multiple, including myself, experts who help you. So you got three people, okay? Plus everyone else is an expert in the group anyway. Um, just to add to this, okay, stay in touch um, over the next couple of days to week. I have two new announcements. Um, that I'll be releasing um, of things that's going to be really cool, um, that's going to help, okay, um, that it, I don't want to give too much away, but I'm pretty bad at, um, at hype marketing, it seems. Anyway, so keep an eye out for that shit. Um, it's going to be super good. Like. All right, cool.